see when the hair is like, when I want to use the finger razor, okay, and the hair is quite loose like this, just go to the fine side and just press the hair down with the back of the comb. So there's tension. And once there's tension, just run the blade around the neck. You're doing that first down layer and all of that? Exactly. Using that shall go ahead? Exactly. Makes sense? Yeah. Um, tension. So that gives you everything down to the one end place. Exactly, bro. So now and now, what is that? And the first one obviously is coming from the nape. So I'm going to bring the hair up to the point where I know I've caught at the nape. And then I'm going to match my fingers into that area. Once we're here, create some tension. Finger comes in, driving out on the right knee, finding that longer short piece from the nape and then just running the scissor up the finger. So what I'm doing is connecting into that length of the nape. I'm gonna even take it a little bit shorter. There we go. The fine side, see the tension? Yeah. Right, you want that tension before you even lift off. You know what I mean? That means that you're gonna have full control over it. Finger comes in, meets the comb, driving out on the right knee, okay? All in good, good spirit. All in good spirit. Now you know, see once I finished that one, right? So once I, the first section I went from the nape up, now I'm going to come from the top down because I've already transferred the guide. So now you have exactly. Your guide, so you exactly. Need, yeah. Exactly. So I like to bring the comb in, get my tension first with the fine side of the comb. Fingertips come in, fingertip the first knuckle. Drive out on the knee all the way to the guide. There's my guide, nice and square. Scissor comes in. Nice square line. Now hold that, comb comes in, same again, tension, let that rest on top of the comb. Regain my tension, fine side of the comb, fingertips come in, driving out on the right knee, there's the guide. Now there won't be much left in this bottom piece, that's where we connected. It's the last piece now. Then create that tension, okay? Fingers meet behind the comb and I'm pressing against the comb for that square position with my fingers. Use my right knee to drive out. There's the guide. Hold that section, come back over the top. Regain, fine side comes in. Straighten the head up, finger comes behind the comb. Drive out on the knee. There's the guide. Game changer. This is, the this is where we're combining a little bit of a layer and graduation. All of this just needs to go. Everything now, everything is getting over directed back to this point. So everything I've layered in the back is coming back to this point. And what's going to happen now is that everything beyond this is going to increase in length until it connects to the layer. So after this section now, it'll be almost connected like that.
No, this should connect to my, to my layer pretty much in the back. There's the layer. And then this corner is basically just completely unnecessary. See here? Mm -hmm. And that just basically connects to my layer, see? So basically, square layer this, okay, nice and square, all the way through the back. So all of this came back, was layered square, okay. Then what we done was actually created something that was triangular, horizontally this way. Oh, sorry James. <laughs> so it went shorter here, at the front, and got longer until it connected into my layer. That's it. So that's all connected now. How I done that was through the diagonal sections. Section one, two to one, three to one, four to one, five to one, six to one. And then we get this really nice shape. This nice mid-length shape. 